the statement of dr ambedkar you take note what is happening in gujarat dalit boy cannot grow mustache he is lynched a dalit boy cannot ride on a horse horse back he is lynched present government has the courage to bring But a legislation to provide preservation in private sector i am asking you please come if you have the courage you bring the bill we support we will all support it is communists who have been fighting for education yes. and employment for all it is communists who have been fighting for health care and housing for all it is communists who have been fighting for equality liberty and fraternity among our citizens that is why i am asking this government பொருளாதாரத்தில் பின்தங்கிய உயர் வகுப்பினருக்கான பத்து சதவீத இடஒதுக்கீடு செல்லும் என உச்சநீதிமன்றம் தீர்ப்பு வழங்கியுள்ளது இந்நிலையில் இடஒதுக்கீடுகளுக்கு பின்னால் இருக்கிற நோக்கம் வறுமை ஒழிப்பு கிடையாது மாறாக நமது சமூகத்தில் வரலாற்று ரீதியாக பாகுபாடு காட்டப்பட்ட மற்றும் பின்தங்கிய பிரிவினருக்கு உறுதியளிக்கும் நடவடிக்கையாகும் என இந்திய கம்யூனிஸ்ட் கட்சியின் தேசிய பொதுச் செயலாளர் டி ராஜா நாடாளுமன்றத்தில் பேசியது தற்போது வைரலாகி வருகிறது reservation for based on income criteria is against the legislative intent i do not know the concerned minister is not there law minister is not there the reservation for based on income criteria is against legislative intent of the constituent assembly and it was evident from the statement of dr ambedkar you take note you are taking the name of dr ambedkar it was dr ambedkar who said in the constituent assembly that reservation would be ensured only against discrimination imposed by structures determined earlier what are those structures now yeah. i am telling you mr paswan has left what is happening in gujarat a dalit boy just started growing his mustache he was lynched what is the society we have today in india what civilization we are talking about and india is a modern nation and a dalit boy cannot grow mustache he is lynched a dalit boy cannot ride on a horse horseback he is lynched a shadow of a little girl who went to fetch water from a public well fell on a others and she was attacked what is this india sir i am yes. asking Yeah, this yeah. is what dr ambedkar your time is over no this is what dr ambedkar said now my point is my point is when the government talks about reservation for economically weaker sections it means already 49.5% reservation is there for sc st and obc 50.5% it is open category it is open even to sc st obc Uh, yeah it is well, and you are taking away 10% from that open category and what is the economic criteria and you are referring to article 15 uh, article 46 you read all these articles in totality nowhere it talks about economic criteria it talks about social backwardness educational backwardness no yeah. that, that please conclude mr raja yeah, please uh, conclude now i am coming to that point now uh, if you are so concerned you, if you are so concerned with the constitution then you look at the directive principles of the state policy who allowed the wealth of the nation should be concentrated in the hands of a few individuals i am asking you that is part of the constitution what is your response to that and you are backing all corporate houses big business houses now you have built up private sector are you i am asking the present government does the present government has the courage to bring the legislation to provide preservation in private sector i am asking you please come if you have the courage you bring the bill we support we will all support and the other day the finance minister said in other house he says communists should not stop the benefits for the poor people it is communists who have been fighting for education yes. and employment for all it is communists who have been fighting for health care and housing for all it is communists who have been fighting for equality liberty and fraternity among our citizens that is why i am asking this government whether this bill is in tune with the constitution Please whether it will stand yeah. before Very judicial correct. scrutiny yes. whether it will stand before social scrutiny across the country that is why i am asking this government be magnanimous 
don't but have the election consideration election this democracy will have to survive constitution will have to survive this nation will have to survive that is why such a constitution amendment bill should not be passed just like that in yes thank it you has to go to select committee as we demand and the thank whole you. house thank you. will have to support and refer it to select committee thank you